goes off in a laser accident? They gave me a robot nose. <laughs> and guess what? I can shoot lasers! Ah, Robocorp's proudest and newest invention, the MaidBot. It is rumored to have over 3,000 functions, including pest control, rest control, and guest control. And it can make you a nice cup of coffee. For the seven billionth time, Sam has lost the key card to his office and has to request a new one from reception. We've seen Sam do weirder things. Sam focuses all his brain energy on trying to speak well-formulated sentences. Uh, hello, Mr. Samuel. How can I help you? Ah. Ah. Very good, sir. Uh, was there anything else? You are a wordsmith, Sam. Of course, sir. Try not to lose it again. Sam takes the car and heads for his office. The elevator is occupied. Sam has no time for waiting. He wants to get around to doing nothing as soon as possible. And then he meets his old nemesis, Stairs. Sam goes in the third door to his office area. Yeah, it is a dangerous job, but the health benefits are awesome, dude! I blew off my leg in a laser accident. And they this is Ingrid, Sam's secretary. Since Sam never gets any calls or does any actual work, Ingrid has a level 80 warrior in every game ever made. And I got this one after my 16th laser accident. Honestly, I can barely feel pain anymore. Sam's office. A waste of space, according to everyone ever. Sam doesn't do much at work, simply because his father doesn't let him. According to Samuel Sr., he only has to show up, shut up, and not mess up. This gives Sam plenty of time to sharpen his skills on his favorite game, Flappy Rooster. Yes, he has one here too. Sam decides to try and beat his record of 10,000 points. Someone knocks on Sam's door. It is Ingrid. Uh, Mr. Samuel, Mr. Welfenberg wants to speak with you. Also known as Samuel Sr., Sam's dad. He seems kind of angry. Take the elevator to his office. The soothing elevator music sets the mood for productivity and not asking questions. 
All of Sam's interactions with his old man have lately been reduced to short meetings in his office. Sam has done weirder things to impress his dad. This is Samuel Sr. He owns Robocorp Inc. And he is tired of the fact that Sam is always late to work. Sam is keeping the morale of his company down, and it is time for him to work for his money. No more fancy offices. You are starting at the bottom. Today, you start as a lepidium inserter in the storage room. Go down to the basement and get to work! Samuel Sr. pretends he didn't see that, as always. Lophidium is a ridiculously rare material packed with energy. It is the key ingredient to the success behind the robots in Robocorp, Inc. Its energy is measured in consciousness, and even just a little bit of the stuff could do wonders for artificial intelligence. Despite all his efforts, Sam ends up working for the first time in his life. At least he's alive. Sam's job is ridiculously simple. He has to pull the lever so a chunk of lepidium comes down. Then he has to put the required amount of lephidium in a robot's slot. Dude, your dad couldn't have picked a worse day to make you work with this stuff. I guess we'll be back in hell in no time. Hi, let's see here. Yeah! That's my body. Even that task gets too hard for Sam. He drops the incredibly toxic material. Sam figures out how to open an automatic door. Impressive, Sam.
Let's see. Yeah! Relax my body. Bend in my knees. Yeah. Sam, I can totally kickflip over that box. Death says, having never actually landed a kickflip in his entire existence. Yeah! Death manages to spill lephidium all over every robot in the basement. Oh, no! No, 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 no! Oh, no! No, Sam! What are we gonna do, yo? Every robot in the basement gets too conscious and escapes. Sam has to get out of work ASAP, and this time with a good excuse. Don't you see, you doorknob? I was directly involved in waking those things to life. Sam decides to take a last sip of water we'll be before his demise. Feces. The electronic door is on lockdown mode. Sam comes to terms with his death and gives up. No, 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 you can't die now, dude. Wait, it looks like Sam has a plan. Short circuits the door. He will live to breathe manually another day. Gosh darn it, you be right, you beautiful son of a lemur. We do have to stop them. Yeah, that be what I be talking about, dude. We are in deep feces, fellas. Someone exposed the robots to too much lefidium, and now they are all conscious. They are headed straight for Mushroom Orphanage. Population, 300 lovely kids. All the robots that became conscious were produced in the last 10 years. That means they have a large arsenal of functions, but are fragile as hell. We will have to use an old and sturdy manual bot to be able to take them down. It is controlled manually. But gosh darn it, Johnson! None of us have done anything manually for years! Oh, I still do things manually sometimes? <laughs> Maybe I can... Yeah. Uh, oh! Oh, 
she was due in a few hours. Do we have any volunteers at all for this task? Mm -hmm. It is not that I believe in you, son, but I've never seen you actually do anything on your own before. So, at this point, <laughs> I just want to see what happens. Chillax, bro. You ain't on your own. Yo, yo, yo! We need to blow up those robots before they hurt somebody. Old death is pointing the way. Sam don't stop to ask why. Oh, what the feces! Shoot at that door, yo! Shoot it two more times, bro! Your gun kind of sucks. Sam turns that door into toothpicks. He's packing heat. Oh, for feces sake, another door. Just use your missiles this time. Sam blasts through the door. He's done messing around. a door we can't blow through. Throw me behind it so I can open it up. Hi. I... He hurls death without blinking. His only amigo. He has to breathe manually while his friend is gone. He rejoins his day-long friend. It's a touch and reunion. Oh, feces! Can't get too close to those things. They get edgy. Oh, watch your battery in bed. All right, dude. Good to go. What if I just walk over there? Oh. Oh. What the feces, dude? Try to aim next time. Sam blows up the library. Never liked books anyway. <laughs> Sam takes out the first robot like <laughs> he's taking out the trash. Sam feels horrible for what he did, so he up chucks a little bit and feels a lot better. Encounters a running fella. Runner bots are sharp like a straight razor. Gotta pop them before they come too close. <laughs> he pops them good. Encounters one of them old blue bots. Gotta chuck old death out. Wait, 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 I ain't ready, I ain't ready. Do you see how I beat that guy up?
big old fella pops up in front of Sam. Busts him up like he's getting paid for it. Paid in pain. I changed my mind. I fixed it for you, Sammy. trail and the orphanage is still standing maybe a good day after all Whew. no dead kids oh we be lucky but then the wind turns there's one last robot needing to be taken care of the maid bot oh feces dude hold on to your flappy rooster 
Gotta watch out for them there missiles. I changed my mind. Ah, oh. Good old minds start ticking down. I've... Sam gotta think fast. Thank God. He walks on backwards. A uh, tactical uh, retreat. Jeez, dude. Focus. Ah. What if I... Oh. 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 Oh, that was horrible. Ah. 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 The meat bot flies off, starts dropping presents. So does his foe. Go, go, go! Best of them again. Yo, I think I fixed it, Sammy. <laughs> Ain't no problem that as Sam recovers, so does his foe. Go, go, go! Change my mind. Whoa! Oh man, I think I'm okay. I think I'm okay. Oh.
Wait, 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 I ain't. Whoa! Oh! oh, man. I think I'm okay. I think I'm okay. Oh! <laughs> oh. Change my mind. Ah! 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 <laughs> you see how I beat that guy up? Finish her off, dude. Oh, Do I... it. Hundred orphans go to heaven, which is a totally nice place, by the way. But death, he caused Satan at least 300 shreds of life. He ain't gonna be happy. And Sam, well, he's got a lot on his mind right about now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't know what came over me. Anyway, let's continue the story, shall we? I have to disappear forever before he finds me. Mm. Just got to do one thing first. Death has risked a meeting with the one he's trying to avoid for one simple item. The Skatemate 3000. Super easy to do kickflips with. Oh, I'll be so close. I can almost taste the kickflips. <clears throat> but then he arrives. The Angel of Darkness. The Evil Spirit. Mephistopheles, Lucifer, the King of Hell, Beelzebub, Satan. Oh, Satan. Hey, I didn't, I wasn't. <laughs> what you be up to, bro? Oh, you know, Satan thing. Busy, busy, busy. Like a fly. <laughs> That's a, yep, a good one. <laughs> so, I hear you killed 300 hairless apes. Kill, I did. I would pass it by while it happened, yes, but. <coughs> and they were too young to sin. So. They aren't even coming to hell. I can pay you back. I have 300 shreds. <laughs> and where did you get 300 shreds? <laughs> if you didn't steal them from me. Uh, weekend jobs. <laughs> you are in deep. Feces. <laughs> 